oh, it's begun. They can't stop us. It has been happening. I'm going to tell you what's happening. I'm going to tell you who can't stop us and who we are and what you need to know. This is so important. If you get on board with this, your whole world will change. Our whole world will change. You may see the coming years completely different than you may right now if you're in any anxiety and fear. I've got an important message for you. Let's go. Welcome to Landria Anka on YouTube here to help you break through those fears and live an amazing life. Okay, I don't have my fan out, but I have an important message, so let me get a little coffee in me. Mm. The movement that I speak of has been going on for centuries. Christ would be one of those people, light workers who came here to shift the energy of the planet, in dense beings that came into a low vibration to experience density and hasn't really been pulling out of it. Therefore, on occasion, a major light worker will come to the planet to make a huge impact and demonstrate what can be done. But you know what's so funny? <laughs> Not really so funny. Most people actually still don't believe what can be done. Miracles, these things you shall do and more. Ye are all gods, and when you believe it and know it, you create it. It says so many times in the Bible that we're actually creating us according to what we choose and think. We're creating the entire material world. It is a matrix. That's not a dirty word. It is a chosen space, a chosen reality that allows us to play out darkness and go back into light, to know that experience and to make choices through our free will. That's where we are right now. Now, what's happening right in this time period on the planet is another major movement. We have slowly been going into the tipping point because density has been so prevalent on the planet and so painful that people have gone into that space where they feel like they have nothing to lose. So when you take our health away and our financial uh, security and all the things that have mattered in the material world to us, what do we have left? Well, one another, and then the things that we explore outside of that that just might be true, that ye are all gods. Somebody said on Instagram, blasphemous, and I said, no, I'm quoting the Bible, Christ. So what does that actually mean? No, you aren't God. I am not God. Everything is. Everything is equally the one expression. Now, let's not go into that right now, but I really want to emphasize that because what I'm going to talk about right now that you must know about the huge movement, they can't stop us. It's happening. It's going to happen. And I see amazing things already transpiring. Yeah, right now. You don't have to wait till a few lifetimes down the road to see some amazing things happen on the planet. But I want you to understand that you get to choose where and how you participate in what's happening on our planet. The movement toward a new beautiful golden era that we must work on to unwind the damage we've done so far, right? You can't bang a dent into a car and just say, go away. Well, technically you can. We can manipulate energy. But here we're meant to have actions and consequences purposefully, right? So then we have to pound it back out and learn from that. This is not a war. This is not taking sides. This is not separation. In fact, it's the opposite of that. I want you to understand this because so many of you think, oh, we're the light workers and we're going to battle evil and that they're... No. No, because that's still low density frequency thinking. It is. I know it doesn't seem like it because wrong is wrong, right? No, wrong. How can anything be wrong if we're one thing? I know. It's tough because it seems really bad. Trust me, there's value in everything. And if you've ever uh, listened to near-death experiences, people go into that space where they're told, you chose that, you learned from it. What did you get from that? Amazing things come from this. Beautiful things happen to other people, but depending on your choice, it could be 
a positive, or you could stay into the density. It is your choice, neither good nor bad. There's no white hats and black hats. That is a label and a name from a low frequency. When somebody says that, somebody mentioned that I wear a black hat, it's a color. It's a color from the one. White is the absence of color from the one. That's it. When we label ourselves, when we call ourselves, I am this and I am that and all these labels, where'd that come from? It's fabricated. Not saying that you aren't a light worker or a star seed or all these names you give yourselves. I am this. That's grandiose ego thinking again. Be careful with that. That's separation. I'm more advanced. I am this. And that's still someone taking a stance and basically most of them spewing stuff that you're supposed to listen to. You are all powerful and you hold all the answers. I'm not telling you anything new. I'm not seeing anything new here that, uh, you know, millions of spiritual teachers haven't revealed. We've come here under certain circumstances with different roles to play. That's all it is. There's no label or name to that. Just different frequencies. And the game is that different frequencies come here to assist others. And uh, the others can choose whether they go into that higher frequency, back into the oneness or not. You never left it. No matter how deep and dark somebody goes into, a space they go into, they're still the one, the one beautiful source. They never lost it. They're experiencing and making some choices, very painful ones. And all those involved, yes, yes, they are entangled. Here's your assignment, because this movement is happening. Here is what it requires. It requires that you not entangle with the separation, the side-taking, and the labeling. There are no names on the other side. We choose names for archangels and stuff so that we can identify them. But when we go to the other side, we know who everybody is just by their frequency. But here, because we're so dense, we require to see a face and a name. So we carry that over to the other side so we can identify one another. Through our own creation, we don't really need that. Some people go over and everybody's just a light being. That's their personal reality creation too. So you have full control over this. It's just an ongoing, beautiful journey. No side taking. Community and unity only. No naming, no judging, no separation, no blaming, no blaming, all right? no judgment. They are. There are many here who grew up in, became entangled with an old school thinking that the material world was all there was and to think anything different was insanity. Well quantum physics, just science alone tells us all of that is just not true. That we are powerful beyond our imagination that scientists can't even figure out on their own or describe. They keep trying to put labels and limits on it, and there isn't any. There aren't any. Why? Because we're trying to label and limit something that is infinite and eternal. Limitless. It creates anything and everything. So how can there be limited dimensions and frequencies? It's impossible. But we don't have to know that. All we have to focus on is what you become entangled with. Okay. Whatever you view, participate in, think, believe, actions are creating. You have to watch every one of these things. That means my beliefs that somebody's wrong or that they are bad people or that culture is evil, separation. That's the old school. That's the, I call it the old guard. That's going to die off, but it will perpetuate if we continue to entangle with those that energy field it won't go away all of them can die that old way of thinking can all die off I'm not talking about just old people everyone who is in that way of thinking could die and it will it won't go away if you're still participating in the beliefs and the thoughts and carrying out the actions we have to break the chain you ready to break the chain Okay, that's what it takes. So what do we do then? So well, how do we stop this? And 
you don't stop anything. You shift. So if this is happening, why is it happening? Somebody coming from fear, somebody coming from their own abuse, uh, lack of love or understanding, lack of compassion, lack of uh, choices. You know me, all I ever do is give choices. Choices, training, how to switch the thinking. Choices, how to start businesses to start earning so you're not destroying the place. I keep giving you more and more choices. Most of them are free. No excuses. All the tools are out there to manifest anything. But you have to make that choice. It's all about your free will choices. So what do we have to do? We have to focus on the solutions, the new way of living, the new energy use, the new foods that we eat, how we process them, how we treat one another, how we act as a community, how we handle abusive situations. Locking people up doesn't solve anything. But we have to get to the root of that. How did that ever happen in the first place? And so when we place passion, compassion and love, and I know this is tough for some of you, you still want to believe that, that that person's evil, but they are equal to you. And what you do to the least of us, you do to me. Isn't them doing evil? It's us judging them and saying they're evil. Another label. I know, this doesn't seem fair, it doesn't seem right, but that's the old guard that's going to tell you that, that keeps us at odds with one another. Because if we go into love and compassion, no one can stand up to that. And so, it has begun, and no one can stop us. What's happening is all of those who have come here under, let's say, a certain mission, they chose certain roles to play here, you know, the illusion, have come here to facilitate the quickening, the acceleration of the transformation of the planet to take it into a new era. Again, <clears throat> people can still make their free will choices. It may or may not happen, but I see it happening. And you can see it happening if you participate in it. But if you entangle with any negativity, any, neg any negativity, what you're watching on the media, are you watching things that are creative and funny or things that are false? and get you all riled up that you know is all a lie and manipulation anyways. Old guard, you gotta step away from that and say, it's all programming. It's just programming. It can really get to you, right? I know, people say, yes, and they get into their politics and I say, stop, there are no sides. It's false. And you are told to believe certain things so that you'll take sides. But if anybody wants you to take a side, it's not the new world that we're creating. It's not the new way of living. It can't be because we are not at odds with that one another in that world. What are you going to choose right now? So you can do this starting today. Focus on this, not that. Well, there and there and there, but how do I know this? What's that thought? Is that a separation? Is that judgment? Is that right and wrong? You're all gods. Yeah, you're all gods. Yeah, that's, that is too. In the Bible it said that the one made the light and the darkness. It says that in the Bible. And the darkness and everything else. That it is the darkness. But we judge it because we don't see the value, the purpose in it. But that's how we learn and evolve. That's how we play this game of going from low vibration back into oneness to know ourselves as one beautiful light being that's just experiencing everything. And you can end all suffering. Suffering happens when you struggle against things that are happening because you believe it shouldn't be happening because you don't see the purpose in it. And you tell yourself a story about it. So if you see the world as a problem, you have a story going. Right? You have a negative story going, that it's wrong, it shouldn't be. In other words, you're saying that free will is wrong. Those choices are wrong. That person's journey is wrong. So we have to step back and stop trying to know it, because as humans, we can't. It's happening. We are creating communities. I'm teaming up with people 
who are teaching amazing things. We're helping people to get on the internet, doing it properly, not chasing money and people that stand in front of jets telling you that that's what it's all about. But people are saying, well, what do you want to do with your life? How do you want to live it? We should have always loved what we do for a living, yet very few people actually do. There's something right there that could shift and you could do it by making your own choice. And it takes, it takes effort. You guys, I've been doing this for eight years. Eight years I've had businesses, I continue to open them. What do they do? They help other people to shift and have options. You could do the same thing, but not if you don't believe in yourself. You hold the power, you know. I would love for you to subscribe. <laughs> Free videos on how to create online businesses, come on over. No more sitting back and watching. You've got to take that, you gotta take that step. Invest in yourself. Go, do, be. You have nothing to lose. You cannot feel it's impossible. These are free. If you want if you want coaching from me, you can sign up. If you want to take breakthrough fear, major course, you can sign up for that. I'm giving you all kinds of tools, free stuff here, my mobile app, all kinds of cool stuff. Or you could say, nah, Landry didn't solve my problems. I'll go to somebody else who can do that, and you're going to spend the rest of your life looking for what you have right here. You are whole and perfect, strong and powerful, loving, harmonious and happy. They can't stop us. It's already happening. It's accelerating. You're going to see it, but not if you're not looking at it. You ready to go there? Blessings to you, my friend. Namaste.